What's up YouTube, it's Carolina Calvin, and this video is a reply to my boy, The Lob Mob, and his video of why he believes why CM Punk would defeat Jason David Frank. Not the exact title of the video, but essentially what he was talking about. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna link his video on his channel down in the description, so if you wanna go check that out, um, it will be down in the description box. Um, in his video, he pretty much analyzed Jason David Frank. Um, Jason David Frank has only had, I believe, five amateur matches. I'm, I may be off by one, but I believe it was five. And these matches occurred just roughly five years ago. So he hasn't had a match since then. Um, and CM Punk, as you well know, is an ex-WWE wrestler. Um, very popular, very popular. A lot of people still you know, wanted him to come back, even when he said he wasn't coming back. Now, a couple weeks ago, I did a video um, where I pretty much talked about uh, Jason David Frank challenging CM Punk to a match. Um, CM Punk had, you know, this came after CM Punk was officially announced that he was going to the UFC. Now, from you know, from the jump, this pissed a lot of the UFC professional fighters off. By you know, they didn't like the fact that you know a uh, small time guy who hasn't had any amateur matches unproven was allowed to get into the UFC but that's a completely different topic on its own um mainly what I focused on was you know how I think the match would have turned out and of course I went with Jason David Frank um and it was not because he, he's a power ranger it's not because you know well that that was the main reason a lot of people were using him he was people were picking him because he was once a power ranger and whatnot that has nothing to do with it you know, the, the guy has a martial arts background. He's actually had some matches. You know, like I said, Lot you know, he, he broke down some of the matches. And, <clears throat> and you know, he, he did a good job. He did a great job. You know, he, he showed, uh, you know, he, he pointed out Jason David Frank's weaknesses. He pointed out weaknesses that could be, you know, that can be exploited. But the problem I, I have with that is, yes, you know, Jason David Frank does have footage to cover. CM Punk has no footage. He doesn't have any training footage. He doesn't have, you know, obviously any you know, footage of him actually fighting an octagon from an amateur or professional standpoint. And that, you know, that's why I'm getting that, getting that saying, you know, he has no experience, no shown experience. You know, there's a lot of you know hearsay from some of his trainers saying he's getting better. But that's different when you actually get into the octagon, you find a live fight, and that that's very much different than you know sparring or training. And we haven't seen any footage of his progression as a, you know, in terms of grappling. Um, we know he has background in grappling, um, ground game, or any of his striking. We, we haven't seen any of that. And, you know, that's why I lean more towards JDF because he's a guy who's shown that, you know, he, he's fought in matches. And I'm pretty much saying the same thing I said earlier. But, you know, th that was the reason I picked him, not because he was, a, you know, well, he, because he was a Power Ranger, it, it wasn't because of that. That's the whole spectacle of the thing, where you know it's an ex WWE wrestler against a former Power Ranger, or you know however you want to spin it or advertise the fight. Now we don't even know if this fight is gonna happen. Uh, J JDF challenged him to a fight. We don't know if CM Punk agreed, but it would draw a lot of revenue, and then, you know even more so than what CM Punk because. People are gonna watch him. You know, that was the main reason I think he got signed because he's gonna draw ratings. He's gonna increase ticket sales. People are gonna go to the paper. You know, people are gonna watch the pay per views. They're gonna buy the pay per views just mainly to see him. And you'll have a lot of you have a lot of WWE fans who just want to watch CM Punk no matter what he's doing. And as I said earlier, that has, that alone has pissed a lot of US, professional UFC fighters off. Now even a guy like. Um, even a guy like Brock Lesnar, who, who's a, a beast. I mean, and this guy has it was All American wrestler, Division One, and he just look at him. He's a monster. He even he had to prove himself in a couple of amateur fights. And you know, I like CM Punk. I have nothing against CM Punk. I just gave my opinion on why I think um, JDF would win. Now. I gave him, you know, there are, I can understand there are a lot of people who are saying some ridiculous things like he would beat him in one punch. No, I don't think that will happen. But, um, you know, the match could go in CM Punk's way. Who knows? 
especially with JDF being um, older. But you know, mine came, from, you know, it came from experience. Um, you know, he had more experience. And you know, there have been a lot of people who made videos and in the corner of JDF. And it's good to see some people making videos in the corner of CM Punk. And you know, Live Mob, he told me. He told me on Twitter that you know, he was a bit biased. So I completely understand. You know, he's a Chicago guy. He's a WWE guy too. You know, why would you not be a fan of him or CM Punk? You know, so so it's completely understandable. But um, let me know what you think down in the comment section. Who do you think will win this match? I'm pretty sure I already asked in the last video. Check out a lot of my videos. He does um, he does WWE 2K. He does my career for both. He does my career for both. WW2K15 and NBA2K15. Go check his videos out. Very informative to you know show you how to really play the game. He covers it like a blanket. Um, of course, if you like this video, of course hit that thumbs up button. Um, please subscribe to my channel. Um, got some more videos coming. I still have one, I, a few I want to talk about with wrestling. And subscribe. Thanks for watching.